2023 presidency, Doyin Okukwe apologizes to Igbo over comment North must forgive them for killing Amadu Bello, as he should. The audacity. Doyin Okukwe, a former ATX president, good luck, Jonathan, has apologized for his comment on the 2023 elections and Igbo presidency. He calls for a Nigerian president of Igbo extraction has continued to generate heated controversies as the country's next general elections move closer. But in a Twitter post on Sunday, Okupe said that Igbo presidents, on Saturday actually, Okupe said that Igbo presidents cannot emerge in 2023 except there's a national consensus. But the thing is, is the audacity for there to be a national consensus for the Northern, like there has has there been a national consensus for the genocide, for the massacre? Silence. Crickets. Because it's like, millions were killed. <laughs> like, it's the audacity. Millions were killed. And there has, there is literally, there's never like a, a national remembrance day for the, for the Biafran war. Is there ever? Are they, are, is, there, is that taught in schools? Because as far as I know, I wasn't taught about the Biafran war. I didn't even know there was a war. So it's like, this government is very deliberate in hiding these things. Because they know. They know. So there should be a, a, a an agreement, you know, um, where everyone comes together to agree. And, like, that... I can't even speak. Because it's so atrocious. Nonsense. He also claimed that the Southeast will not produce a president until forgiven by the North for the killing of Amadou Bello in 1966. <laughs> so, if, okay. Now that the death of anybody is any, you know, is, is, is justified or should be, you know, ignored. But, because if anything, Biafra should be very, should burn the whole country down because... It is justified with what they've went with what they've gone through. So it's not like for one person, you're not saying the whole northern part of the country will not let that happen. So then you're making it clear that the power lies in the north. Because they're the ones that would agree to let somebody enter. As as long as there's a deal that cuts for them. You see, that was how the independence of Nigeria came about. See, this this see, these are the things. These things are all rooted back to the country's foundation. It is not surprising. Fam, the audacity, the audacity. If the consensus emerges, the interest of equity, fairness, and national unity, I will shelve my ambition. This is in his words, as he said, and support for whoever is chosen as a candidate by my party. However, if the national consensus is not achievable, I will run for president in 2023 by God's grace. Like, is the audacity? I didn't even know who this man was. I mean, what? Well, the elections are gonna happen. In my, I think it's not gonna happen. There's gonna be a whole riot, a whole new war because I think that 2023 is not going to happen. Let's just start planning that 2023 war divide. That's it. Um, his comment has generated a black backlash from uh, many people accusing him of trying to smear the Igbo presidency campaign due to his presidential ambition. In a follow up post, Okupe said, expressed regret over his initial comment. He wrote open apology to the Igbos. I tender my unreserved apology to the Igbos and other Nigerians who felt the... We didn't feel it. See, this is so toxic. How do you apologize like that? You're coming to apologize and you're giving backhanded apologies. Who felt offended? So, so you're saying that people did not feel offended and they, that their feeling was justified. Is that what you're trying to say? Please. On the Igbo presidency and the North, I never intended to hurt... Or demean the egos instead i wanted to help actualize the dream i regret the said post and i am truly sorry huh sure sure i mean honestly honestly i think at this point is it's all been planned because it's a tactic to generate people's reaction and talk about 2023 and the election to be honest but um because it's useless what what his apology going to do if anything you know, he just used his hand to scatter his presidential ambition, which I think he's not even going to achieve at the end of the day. So, there's nothing. So, let's see whose reactions. The first one says, it's those kind of statements that are causing problem among the people. Somebody will not think before writing just to cause problem for you to be accepted. I believe it is people like this that 
like this one that is the problem between the egos and northerners exactly so let the egos and northerners have a handshake and forget about the past the way i see it all this agitation is due to perceived injustice and fear of unknown i don't think any right thinking evil man will be will seek to be president with the intention of breaking the country so let the likes of okukwe stop finding embers of enmity between the two tribes but the thing is why do you think that an ego man going to be in presidency will break the country where is that derived from they are scared because they're guilty and they know that there's blood on their hands they understand that because it's like why would you be so threatened as to you know an ego person being president because he basically said because because it says, I don't think any right-thinking Igbo man will seek to be president with the intention of breaking the country. So why would you think or assume that such intention will exist? They're scared. They know what they've done. And so I, I even think that for an Igbo person to be president, I I mean, let me not even give my opinion on that because that's a bit salty. But, but it's like they understand, they know there's blood on their hands. There's blood on their hands. That is it. That's it. Somebody says the deed has already been done. You have planted the seed you wanted to plant in the might of the radical northern youths. Exactly. I mean, saying, because you're basically giving the power to the north. And ba he's basically telling us that the power is in the north. He's literally explicitly saying such. Because it's like, what? Like, why should the north have anything? Like, what? So it's like, you're saying that we have to now beg for... Per See, these kind of statements incite hate. And people like these need to be dealt accordingly. I don't think he was dragged enough. He was dragged. As in, like, 24 hours dragging. I... I please. It's so sad. It's so sad. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I, I'm just happy that people... There was a backlash. Because people are realizing that, peop that somebody like this is so dangerous. Because they literally... They stare, they're instigators. That's what they do. They'd instigate and then they'd run away and be like, Oh, I didn't know. Let me just come and apologize. You were sent. Enemy of progress. They sent they sent him. They sent him. Someone says, Who needs that you're not in a useless presidency? Or is it the advice that the British Queen Elizabeth government is giving you, doing your kukwe fulani used to use as a bait to the old eastern region to mouth for stress and remain us in this quagmire called Nigeria? Someone says the Igbo nation is not seen as part of Nigeria, hence the sidelining. Exactly. Igbo man can never rule or be allowed to rule Nigeria unless Britain ceases to exist. Let's open the secret cupboard and everything. Let's open it up. Please expose all these people. Please. Nigeria is not conducive for the Igbo nation, no matter their apologies. North can never think of liking an Igbo talk more of trusting and allowing them come close to power preach preach so again as i've said let's even talk about disintegration because that's the main thing for us to actually disintegrate and i'm so happy that they brought the british into this conversation because those people that government that it's like they literally instigate and run away oh we didn't know oh gosh they literally nah nah it's so it's so it's so cunning of them because they would use their own people to do their own people and yes we have to take accountability that our own people are falling for these tricks at the end of the day due to greed and other things but for us to get independence or or separate from nigeria we need to go back and look at the paperwork on what grounds and basis we got the independence in the first place because you cannot tell me that certain people are not cashing out out of the corruption of the country well put what you think about this in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe